So somebody has come in here and written this incorrectly. This is not the exponent's rule. This is exponent rules. I'm first, I'm looking at two rules in this video. X to the M times X to the N. And don't get freaked out right now. This is the rule, and I'm going to explain how to remember it forever and ever. There's one rule, and the other rule is X to the M to the N equals X to the M times N. It is very easy to get these two mixed up. I have gotten them mixed up many times, and I continue to unless I do my little super memory trick. So my super memory trick is to remember, first of all, I use the numbers 3 and 2. So I do X to the third times X squared and X to the third squared. So I'm using 3 and 2 in both situations. And I do this on the top of every test or homework so that I can remember the difference at a quick glance. So I don't have to keep it in memory. I do this out on the top and then it's there for me to refer back to. So it's like creating a cheat sheet in the middle of the test. X cubed means X times X times X, right? This is three copies of X multiplied together. X squared means two copies of X multiplied together. And look, we have this little multiplication right here. So how many X's do I have? I have five. So you can just count them. One, two, three, four, five. From this, it's easy to see that we add these two to get there. Then I can write this down at the top of my page, or I can write x cubed times x squared e equals x cubed plus squared. Oops. And it would be helpful if I had some sort of erasing device, but Sharpies don't come with erasing devices. So this is x to the 3 plus 2. This in the same fashion, I go, okay, so what does this little two first mean? Well, it means two copies of this. So this is two copies of these two guys, of this guy that's in the middle. And then I say, well, what does is, what is the three mean? This means three copies of x multiplied together. And this three also means three copies of x multiplied together. I feel like I'm playing dominoes. And then these are multiplied together. So how many x's do I have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This is x to the 6th power. So from this, I can remember this is x to the 3 squared, which is my original problem up here, means x to the 3 times 2, which is my x to the 6th. So my rules don't have any m's and n's in them. They actually have a 3 and a 2. So I can remember my rule with threes and twos.